Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and today we're going to be talking about what the Milwaukee Bucks offseason plan should be after hiring Adrian Griffin as their next head coach. As yesterday, the Bucks became the second NBA team to hire a head coach this offseason. The first one was my favorite team, the Houston Rockets, hiring Ime Yadoka, but this was the first team that was in the playoffs to hire a new head coach, as there are th now two other teams that are looking... Um, that are looking for a head coach that were in the playoffs. The Philadelphia 76ers with Doc Rivers was as their head coach. Now he's gone. And then the Phoenix Suns, Monty Williams, they're still looking for a head coach as well, which I do think those, if those are going to be the next two off the board, I think most likely the next team to get a new head coach is probably, probably would probably be Phoenix. Um, Detroit's head coaching search is taking feels like it's a little long and I think Philly's taking their time on that as well um but let's get into the Milwaukee's hiring Adrian Griffin I already talked about you know the hire I love the hire I think it's a great hire what have I think Monty Williams from the Phoenix Suns would have been a better fit for the Milwaukee Bucks but I think this was their second best option and I'm going to get into what I think the offseason plan should be for the Milwaukee Bucks after hiring Adrian Griffin, they're the Bucks are gonna need to you know make some improvements. You know, I get they were the one seed in the Eastern Conference last year, but they were a one seed in the Eastern Conference last year that lost to the Miami Heat, the eight seed. And yes, I know the Miami Heat have been amazing. the The Heat are in, the Heat are in the Eastern Conference Finals could be the first team in NBA history to blow a 3-0 lead, but still they're in the Eastern Conference Finals as an 8 seed. I don't think that's recognized a lot as it is. I mean, it is, but um, not enough. But they still lost in five games as the number one seed in a powerful team with Giannis Antetokounmpo, and I know he missed the first, what, three games of the series, but same time, he played game five, he played game four. They still lost both of those games with Giannis on the on the floor for them. And I personally do think that even though they were the one seed last year, they need to make some improvements. And I know they need to sign Brooke Lo re sign Brooke Lopez and Chris Middleton. Those are the two number of things they need to do um, this offseason. And that's what I'm going to start with is re signing Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez. I think both of those guys need to be re signed for the Milwaukee Bucks this offseason. But I think there is still more that needs to be done. As of other free agents or trades, I have one trade being happen. Well, I have one trade happening, and then I also have another free agent target I think would be good for the Bucks. And then we're going to go over the whole roster. So the one trade I really do like is a, a trade for Milwaukee Dorian Finney-Smith. Dorian Finney-Smith looks like feels like he's he's been you know reported to the Bucks. The Bucks might have interest in him this summer a lot, especially. They're going to want a replacement for Jay Crowder. I know Jay Crowder didn't play much in the playoffs. Plus, not only that, but um, Jay Crowder is going to leave the, this offseason. I mean, he said in an interview, on a, on a post game interview, like, what was my you know point here? You know, you traded for me to help in the playoffs, but I'm not even playing. So, I think they're going to want to get like a type player like Jay Crowder, a good shooter, a good defender, and that is something Dorian Finney-Smith is. So I have the trade with the Brooklyn Nets uh, for Milwaukee to receive Dorian Finney-Smith. Dorian Finney-Smith heading to the Milwaukee Bucks, and then Pat Cunningham and Mar 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 Marwan Bocham, and then a 2029 first-round pick that is top five protected. So Brooklyn gets Pat Cunningham, Mar Marwan Bocham, and then a 2029 20, first-round pick, and then Milwaukee would get Dorian Finney-Smith, which would be a really, really amazing piece off the bench. Him and Bobby Portis off the bench together would be kind of scary. And then a free agent target I think would be really good for the for the Milwaukee Bucks would be Seth Curry. Um, realistically, I do not, I do not, I don't think it would happen, but uh, kind of need a guard off the bench. I think Seth Curry would be a perfect fit with his shooting and would be a great acquisition. And then, obviously, I think if Seth Curry's coming in, Dorian Finney-Smith, Bobby Portis, you kind of don't have a backup point guard. I mean, Curry could play the backup point guard, uh, but he's more of a shooting guard. So in that case, I think you re-sign Javon Carter for very cheap. So in that case, 
your roster looks like. Drew Holiday, the starting point guard. Shooting guard, Grayson Allen. Small forward, Chris Middleton. Power forward, Giannis. Center, Brooke Lopez. Off the bench, Bobby Portis. Dorian Finney-Smith, Seth Curry, and Javon Carter. I think it's a realistic offseason getting Dorian Finney-Smith in a trade, re-signing Brooke Lopez and Chris Middleton. Both of those guys want to come back, try to go after a guy like Seth Curry, and I think Javon Carter would definitely want to return to the Milwaukee to, to Milwaukee after a good season last year. So I think this Milwaukee team would be improving with adding in Dorian Finney-Smith and Seth Curry and re-signing you know, Chris, Chris and Brooke and then adding in Adrian Griffin. I think this would be an improvement for the Milwaukee Bucks. Only thing they lose is Jay Crowder, who didn't really play for them in that playoff series, and Pat Cunningham. So I think it is, I think it is a really good offseason for the Milwaukee Bucks. They can definitely do more, but this is, I think, the best option for Milwaukee. But we'll see what happens. That's the video. If you guys enjoyed them, your thoughts, and peace out.